We're already hearing that Los Angeles County's uh, public health director, I want to make sure I got this title right, is saying that the region's stay-at-home order will likely last through July. This is, we're learning as well, that the California State University system has essentially canceled uh, classes for the fall semester, at least in-person classes, they will be virtual. The, the read on all of this from Catherine uh, Barger, who joins us right now, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors Chair. Um, thank you very much, Catherine, for taking the time. Uh, what caused this speed bump? Uh, do you know what now stands to delay, you know, your state's reopening? So, actually, it's not. It's not a delay. We were discussing yesterday at the board meeting some issues as it relates to tenant protections, and the question came up, how long do you want to keep those protections in place? So, we were debating what the end date would be or the sunset on that. Um, we are continuing in phases to begin to ease restrictions uh, today. We're making announcements that we're going to be reopening the beaches and um, actually going to follow what the governor is doing and allow businesses to uh, reopen and do curbside. So we are moving in that direction. We've got phases going, and it's based on testing and tracing, uh, ensuring that we can protect the most vulnerable population, uh, in capacity within our hospitals, and, and really making sure people understand what social distancing is all about. And we're moving in that direction. So we are easing solely but surely, but recognize it's not going to be completely um, over until we get into a situation where we can have concerts and all that, which is not definitely not right. going to happen before August. All right. So that was the read we heard from the L.A. mayor, for example, that that, that was not in the offing anytime soon. This, this July sort of uh, open-ended date, is that that was not changed or that the recommendation is to still adhere to some of these provisions while loosening them up for some businesses and the rest, beaches and all. Can you give us an update on any of that? Yeah, so we're trying to move away from giving a date. We're looking at the numbers, and the numbers are really what's going to dictate we can begin to ease uh, some of the restrictions. And so, you know, the date July is an artificial date. Um, as I said, today we are going to be announcing the lifting of many restrictions. Uh, last week we allowed uh, trails and and businesses to begin to reopen that were um, identified by the governor. So we are moving in that direction. Our numbers have actually been fairly good uh, as it relates to hospital capacity. Right now we're at about 63 percent census. And our testing, we're continuing to grow on testing. We're up to 20,000 uh, a day. So we are moving in that direction, but we're doing it in a slow, methodical way because we don't want to go back to safer at home. We want to move toward a safer at work safer in the community, but recognizing that we need to be very careful in how we do this so we don't take a step back. Um, is it your sense that this will be a staggered process, though, that people, when they do eventually come out of their homes or sheltering provisions that were in effect, um, will be doing so in stages? I heard one, maybe it was an L.A. Times article, where they talked about doing this uh, first 20 percent, then the next 10 percent, then the next 10 percent, because that could obviously go on for some time. What What is your read of where the state, uh, besides just your area, goes from here? Well, recognize we, we represent 10 million people here in Los Angeles County. So it is going to be in slow stages because, again, I don't want and I know no one else wants to go back to where we were a month ago with Safer at Home and, and pulling everything. So we are going to do it in stages. But I even know when I go out into the community, I'm seeing people changing the way they are doing things. They're wearing masks. They're respecting the social distancing. They are recognizing that we need to change, you know, the way we are continuing to do things uh, so we don't spread this virus. All right. I know you were busy. That is putting it mildly. We very much appreciate your taking the, the time to talk with us. Uh, Catherine Barger, the uh, L.A. County Board of Supervisors Chair. Be well, be safe.